and then go ahead and add your Invertase. Invertase is an enzyme, also known as Firmvertase, and it will break down this solid fondant into a creamy liquid center given enough time. Thanks for joining us at Artisan Cakes. It's time for another tip of the day. We're going to start by making our fondant centers. And that consists of one pound of dry fondant, six tablespoons of butter, two to three tablespoons of water or heavy whipping cream or any other form of liquid that you would like to use, Invertase, and a little bit of vanilla. We're going to begin by placing all of our dry fondant into a mixer. A stand mixer works best for this with a paddle attachment. This is basically a combination of sugars and invert sugar, which prevents crystallization in our centers. And let's see, we're gonna go ahead and add our butters. And we're going to turn our mixer on low and let this start combining and then add all of our water. Go ahead and add your vanilla. We're going to add one teaspoon. And then go ahead and add your Invertase. Invertase is an enzyme, also known as Firmvertase, and it will break down this solid fondant into a creamy liquid center given enough time. It takes about two weeks. I know, that's, that's the hard part, waiting. Um, <laughs> I've only waited a couple of times. So let it rest at room temperature for up to two weeks to begin the enzymatic action. Let this combine really well. Turn it off and let's check this. I like to just take a little piece and give it a feel. If you feel anything granular in there, like little pieces of sugar, then it needs to continue mixing for a few more minutes. This is pretty good. This is nice and smooth. So now we're ready to scoop this out and we're going to color a small portion, bright orange, to become the yolks of our cream eggs.